Hello and welcome! My name is Luigi from Bluestacks and today let's embark on the world of Teleria. Teleria is a fantastic place. It's a land of many races, like humans, elves, orcs, lizardmen, barbarians, undead, demons, well, you get the point. But unfortunately, Teleria is a dying world, and it's upon you to save it from the forces in service of Seraph. If you like the idea of being in charge of an army to fight against the forces of evil, well, in that case, you should take a look on Raid Shadow Legends. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to start your journey with the right food. The game is set up in a medieval fantasy world, and it has a deep and immersive full campaign with fully voiced and hand-drawn cutscenes along the way. Besides that, you can also engage with your champions in many activities, from PvP player vs player to PvE, player vs environment. I just recommend trying to finish the main campaign at least, and after you have access to all the features the game has to offer, to do whatever your hearts desire. Just in a few minutes, you are asked to choose among 4 champions, but honestly, try not to worry too much about it. In no time, you will be summoning a bunch more champions in the portals of Bastion. I, for example, decided to pick the High Elf Ehan, simply because I like bows and arrows. After the tutorial, you'll be redirected to the Bastion, and the game will truly begin. This works like a hub, giving access to everything you can do in-game. First, we need to get an army at our side, and the way we can do this is by summoning champions. I will explain in the next step. First, we need to gather a resource called shards. Those shards are divided into four types: mystery, ancient, void, and sacred. Each one have a chance to summon from different pool of champions with different rarity. That would be common, rare, epic or even legendary, if you get really lucky. You can obtain those shards from bosses, quests, challenges, weekly tasks, events and more. You can also buy them from the market, but it's not really necessary. Raid Shadow Legends is basically a gacha game that focuses on character progression and unity training, encouraging you to optimize your engagements when battling against even the toughest enemies. All this with a lot of strategy involved as I'll talk in the next part. The game has a rock paper scissor like mechanic, where magic beats spirit, spirit beats force and force beats magic. Each champion belongs to an element which also gives them their color, weakness and strengths. Knowing this, it's pretty much essential later on in the game when facing high-end enemies. Raid Shadow Legends also have a lot of optimization when it comes to battle. This is great for people that don't have a lot of time and want to play something on the side. But beware, even though this might work on easier encounters, try not to underestimate your opponents. The AI responsible for doing the automatic choice is not the smartest, so be prepared to step in and create a strategy to defeat the stronger enemies. Upon earning battles, your champions will earn XP and artifacts that they can use to grow in strength and power. Using pairs of equipments with the same set bonus will grant you a huge boost in your stats, special abilities and modifiers to your attack, crit rate, defense, etc. Not to mention, you can even upgrade those artifacts to get even better bonuses. And that's basically all you need to know to have a solid start on Raid Shadow Legends. If you enjoy a medieval fantasy world with that Lord of the Rings vibe, well, I guess you also like Raid Shadow Legends. The art direction and the visual aspects of this game is really what makes all the difference from any other gacha games, so if you want to give it a try, download it on Bluestacks, link for it is in the description down below. But that's it for now, thank you very much for watching and see you in game, bye bye!